Hey, yo everyone, welcome back to Nerd Labs. Now, as a science YouTuber who does a lot of videos on hobby high voltage electronics, one thing I get asked a lot is, what is a good project to do when you're getting started in the high voltage hobby? Now, I was perhaps not the smartest when I started doing high voltage projects. My literal first high voltage project I ever did was a microwave oven transformer Lichtenberg wood burner, which was, uh, which was not the is not the best idea when you have zero experience with high voltage. Now, when I get asked these questions, I often recommend building a Tesla coil using a bug sapper circuit. But what if you've already built that and you want a more powerful high voltage power supply that's still pretty easy to work with and not super dangerous? Well, I've seen these ZVS drivers on eBay a lot, and I wondered how good they are as a beginner high voltage power supply. So I bought one, and let's test it. Now, while these ZVS drivers are a more beginner high voltage power supply and are not super duper dangerous, you still have to be safe with them. I personally have my dad with me, who's an electrical engineer, when I work with high voltage projects, even ones like the ZVS driver, and I always, always follow a few safety rules that you should follow too. First of all, the one hand rule. When you're working on electronics, you need to keep your hand, one hand in your back pocket at all times, which prevents electricity from flowing through your heart if you get shocked, which can save your life. Now also, make sure to wear rubber gloves when you're working with high voltage, and when you're new to high voltage and don't aren't as experienced with avoiding shocks, it's definitely good to start with something like a Jacob's Ladder, where you can wire it up before you plug it in, then plug it in and watch from a safe distance without having to work on the live circuit. If you do want to move the wires while they're running to draw arcs, now you'll need to use something called a chicken stick, which is where you take a piece of PVC pipe, tape the wire to one end, then hold the other end of the, of the PVC pipe, allowing you to draw arcs without getting shocked, although you should still wear rubber gloves when using it. And with that in mind, let's get to testing this ZVS driver. <laughs> It cost about 15 bucks on eBay, and you might be tempted to buy a cheaper option like one of these, which are much more readily available online and cost about 8 bucks. If you do buy one of these cheaper ones, please note that they have no fans, meaning that they're going to get really hot really and fry really fast, and I made that mistake with induction heating with this one, and well, it's toast. The input and output labeling is in Chinese, so we'll have to figure out which one's plus and which one's minus. And uh, the DC input here is 12 to 30 volts, and there is three, and there's three uh, output connectors, which means that this one probably wants you to connect it to a center tapped coil. Assuming most of you are here because you want to learn how to use this ZVS driver to drive a flyback transformer and get high voltage. Well, here's how. Your flyback transformer should look something like this. Now, now you'll need some wire. Uh, this is just this hookup wire. You want it to be reasonably thick. This is probably good enough. And you most importantly want to have it center tapped which means you cut this in half, strip the ends, twist them together, solder them back together, so now you have a little connection point on the middle of the wire, and then solder a short wire like this to it. So now we want to put it through this core part of the flyback transformer and wind it around. You want to wind it four times, and then, and then let your center tap poke out. Now we've got the, co the two coils wound with the center tap in the middle. All you now just grab some electrical tape st and, and stick that over the coils to insulate them. Like that. Now we've got our flyback transformer wound. Now this will be our high voltage output. One of these pins will be our high voltage ground. And these three wires will hook up to the ZVS driver. Now we want to connect our center tap wire to the center connector here on the output. Yep. 
There we go. So now we've got our wires hooked up to the flyback transformer. And we want to just loop those around so they aren't hitting our high voltage output. There we go. We're using this old lead acid battery as the power source because this thing draws probably about 10 or 15 amps of current at 12 volts, and I don't want to risk blowing out any of my power supplies if they can't quite handle that. The positive and negative wires of it are just hooked up into this driver, and the output of the driver is hooked up to my flyback transformer. Being decided behind closed doors in laboratories all over the world. the simple Jacob's Ladder using two wooden kebab skewers, a plastic jar lid, and two of these metal reusable drinking straws that my ego freako parents happen to have. Yeah. I get my best flows and test on my next shows while my whiteboard is marked up with expos. Planning out all of my next moves and expos. The most unlikely artist to make it out of the West Coast. Teenager with the mind of a vet, though. But soon somebody will sign him a check. So if you did something that you highly regret, I recommend it. It's about time that you let go. Cause at first they were trying to diss me. Now I'm coming up, so they ask for favors. And when you get noticed, the story flips. See, now they talking to me on their best behavior. People I barely know telling me they love me. Two faced friends only in it for the money. Who can you trust when he's trying to be the greatest? But now I'm waving bye to you haters until I'm number Yeah, but the number one is what I'm going for. I used to want it all, and now I want it more until I'm number one. That I mean it if you look into my eyes It shouldn't be a surprise when I finally yeah. arrive at the top uh, one. What am I really trying to prove? Did I just put myself into a situation where I gotta choose? Between music and money, fans and friends I hope that all the above is on the Scantron then Life is a test then I study for the class If you wanna understand then you better do the math Procrastinated rappers thinking they go past Gonna find out real soon just how long they gonna last